Hey guys, uh, Dave here. Um, thank you for tuning in again. Uh, this week, you know, there's something I have to share, so it's gonna be a confession. Um, <laughs> it's so stupid, it really is. But I wanna get close to you guys and I want you guys to get close to me and I've never told anyone this before. So here we go. Uh, one of my jobs, I work as a counselor, right? And we work out of a huge RV, so we drive it all throughout Montreal. Well, Laval, to be more specific. And the thing is, there was no bathroom on that RV. So, one, uh, recently when it got really cold, um, we were on the highway, and I really, really had to go. Like, it was bad. It was to a point where, like, you know when you feel like you're about to burst and it hurts and you have to like lean over the town, bad, you gotta take a piss. So I'm like, okay, so what do I do? I start looking around the RV, you know, my, co my coworker's like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, come and sit back and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll be there, I'll be there. And I had found an empty Oasis juice box, you know, like the cartons that are like that. So I was like, okay, I, how the fuck can I MacGyver the shit out of this box, you know? So I ended up making a little, cutting it up and all that stuff and I was able to pee in it, I know. I know, I'm disgusting in half a class. I came to that conclusion a very long time ago. So the thing is, I don't know what to do because there's no garbages on board, right, as well. So I'm just sitting there with like a big jug full of pee, like a carton full of pee. My coworker's like, uh, what's in there? Like, something smells weird. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Maybe this juice has gone bad, you know? And I quickly chuck it out of the window, but I didn't see that there was somebody next to us. And as soon as that jug hit the window, all I see is whoosh, is the dude's uh, windshield freeze over completely. And it's full of frozen pee. Little as you know, that guy probably thinks, <laughs> probably thinks it's apple juice because of the carton, but. And you just hear the dude caught, like honking and swearing and honking and swearing. And my, co my colleagues are like, what the hell is going on? Like, I don't know, like, there's something really weird with his windshield. Maybe we splashed him or something. To this day, I had never ever told my coworkers what had happened that day. And I thought it would be a funny story to share with you guys. And I'd like you guys to share one with me. So comment below, funny story that happened to you because I'm dying to read them. And feel free to like and subscribe, please. That would really help me out, that would be great. And finally guys, please, Find me on Twitter, DaveyBoy1701, the link will be down below. I'll be glad to talk to you guys there too. You guys can share your stories on there too. It won't be that embarrassing because you only have 140 characters. All right guys, peace out.